Good afternoon and welcome back to Weather United. In today's video, we're going to be talking about your next five to seven days as we have interesting weather coming. If you like detailed weather updates, smash the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. Taking a look at your now cast weather for October 1st on this beautiful Saturday and we can see we have two pretty important storms to talk about. The first one being is a remnants of what is left with Ian moving over West Virginia, Virginia, as well as Pennsylvania and much of the eastern seaboard bringing with it moderate to heavy rainfall, gusty winds still in the area with a few thunderstorms that are quite strong there over portions of Nantucket as well as Massachusetts. We have a another system over here over Montana over Wyoming as well as over Idaho and portions of Colorado bringing some cooler weather and more unsettled weather but in between we have high pressure over here we have another high pressure over here keeping these areas pretty calm and quiet so taking a look at our latest European model that initialized this morning so nearly a couple of hours ago when making this video and we can see where our rainfall and snowfall is for the higher elevations in Wyoming we have that system that we just talked about on satellite imagery in the eastern seaboard as well as portions of the northeast. We have a little bit of snowfall on the top right side of the screen here as I'm circling in. And of course, what you need to look for is what model I'm using and uh, what time of the period we're looking at. So putting this into motion for Sunday morning, we can see weather is pretty quiet overall. We have an Arctic high over here at 1,035 millibars, bringing that cooler air out of the north. This is going to continue all the way here into say Monday morning where we have pretty much calm weather all across the board nothing too substantial other than maybe some pop-up showers and thunderstorms over the inner mountain west like the desert southwest the four corners in portions of the northern Rockies but otherwise anywhere you go for Monday looks pretty good not much rough weather in the forecast and then when we go into say Monday we get our next snowstorm that might try to dip down from Hudson Bay over portions of Manitoba. If you are in Quebec and Ontario, Canada, might get a little bit of showers and a little bit of snow there. And then this is going to dive down. This is kind of like that Alberta Clipper kind of scenario, but it really does fall apart as it moves further south. And no hints of any snow yet over the Great Lakes or over the northern plains or the northeast but much cooler air is going to be filtering down out of the north because of this arctic high at 1041 millibars remember air is dense and when it's dense you can create higher pressure at the surface and so that colder dense air is going to be moving in out of the north and then that high kind of settles in over the um over the midwest also for portions of the eastern seaboard where you have air pressure at 1031 millibars but otherwise pretty quiet for at least the next five to seven days or so which is good news we have nothing rough coming your way just yet but wait until we get into late fall early winter we're gonna really get things kind of uh, mixing around here in the u.s so when we take a look at our temperature forecast here over the next few days, we can see daytime highs in the upper 70s to low 80s if you're in the high plains, the deep south. So not too bad there at all. Pretty kind of tip. Well, it's above average, but hey, it's going to be on at least not 99 or 105 degrees that you've been dealing with sometimes this summer. And then over across the east or western half of the U.S., we're going to see some nice warmer weather. But then here comes that colder air. You'll see it here towards the end, um, kind of by, say, uh, Monday. This is Monday, and this is going to be Tuesday. You'll see this Arctic air really try to filter down. Here it is. It's coming. There we go. So you can see Arctic um, air really cold coming in out of central and northern Canada while much of the U.S. here is looking pretty good for your Wednesday not too warm at least it's going to be pretty mild for the time of the year that we're in by day five and day six there is a cold air and I mean we got some 20s out there yeah 20s 
for your Friday morning, October the 7th, could really feel almost like winter for those people that live in the Dakotas, while down here to the south, going to be also kind of on the mild side to start your morning. Warming up into the 90s, but go to the north here, you're seeing temperatures barely getting out of the 30s, some low 40s in some areas, and then it really cools down as we go into Saturday night, October the 8th. But while in the west here, you're going to have really warm temperatures. Indian summer is back and that means temperatures are going to be really mild and also for the deep south you're going to have temperatures in the upper 70s to low 90s during the day with overnight lows there as you can see with lows in the upper 50s to mid 60s. So as we go and take a look at our temperature anomaly forecast, we can see um, not much changes. The pattern is going to be really locked in here other than you're going to have some cooler air shots all the way for the next three to four days over the southeast, the eastern seaboard. Going to be really nice, going to feel like fall. The colors of the trees are going to change. The leaves are going to turn orange. Hence is why Weather United is celebrating fall for the season, why my profile picture is literally covered in orange as well as my banner on this channel. By the way, that changes um, throughout the year. And so you'll notice it uh, when we get into like say winter time. Also for the four corners, temperatures are gonna be near average and then above average here for the west and for the northern plains of the US, but it won't last too long because we got that cold air coming on in. Look at this. Temperatures could be 15 to 20 degrees or actually about five to 10 degrees below. <laughs> average so not record cold but it's going to definitely you're going to feel the difference out there than what you've been used to as this colder air comes in so by the end of the week some areas like the high plains could have temperatures almost 20 degrees below average while most areas are going to have temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees below the overall long-term average maybe wisconsin and maybe this area could have temperatures nearly 15 degrees below average but look at the west here going to be pretty warm also for the deep south kind of this ribbon of warmer than average temperatures that are anticipated and then this continues all the way until next weekend with that colder air sliding on in so people that don't like the warm weather you're gonna love this cooler air coming on in so what is up with this weather pattern why is it interesting why are we talking about it well we got a low pressure here that's ian we got another area of low pressure moving into the high or kind of the um, the northern Rockies, the high deserts, that's what we looked at on satellite. So going forward, we can see the large scale ridge pattern is going to continue here. So we're not seeing below average temperatures for the northern plains just yet. But when this cooler air comes in, this trough, as we can see here, you can take note of it. That's going to bring in the cooler air and because we got subsidence on the back side of this. So we're going to have high pressure at the surface um, in the leading side of this trough. And so that's going to bring down with it some cold Arctic air, as I mentioned in the video. And then that's really going to deepen. Look at this. For the northeast, we're talking about well below average temperatures, perhaps with those below average heights over the area. So you're going to like this weather pattern coming up for the people that are not liking the warmth you know you, you're t ready for fall well you're going to be ready for it by the second half of this week as the pattern changes large scale ridging back west we got large scale troughing back east and that's going to open the door for some wild interesting weather and then by the end of the forecast of course a lot can change here with that trough that may dip down into the pacific northwest but we're not going to worry about that yet very very far out to even speak for the words of anything all right if you found this weather information very helpful make sure you smash the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future updates but anyways i will see you in the next one peace